there is only one perfect solution, but there are clues that will try to trick our team. Hello there, everyone. My name is Crazy Caleb, and today we're going to be taking a look at Dungeon Second Floor. So, for those of you who aren't familiar with Dungeon, um, the first module that came before this guy, um, the way that you can differentiate between the Dungeon modules is um, the first floor, or simply Dungeon, will be ha will have a gray background, and the second floor will have a green background, like so. So, it is advised, and I would highly recommend that you do this, if you don't know Dungeon, um, the, first, the first floor, uh, I would advise you to go learn that. I will leave a link to the tutorial for that in the description. Um, it is very important that you know that module because it actually does help later on because a lot of the rules are similar, but there obviously are some big differences on second floor that we're going to cover. But having a general idea of how dungeon works is going to make this it make, make this trip so much easier. So I'm going to advise you to look at the dungeon tutorial so we can take a look at this guy with ease. So uh, let's get into the module. So what we're going to be doing is similar to dungeon, we're going to be going through a series of stages based off of this little number right here, and based off of some calculations, we're going to be pressing the arrow and potentially defeating some enemies along the way. So we have our movement options of left, forward, and right, as we have before, and we have the option of a shield and a sword, similar to dungeon. The catch with this module is, is that um, there will be different colors that we have here based off of the color of the LED. Um, instead of it being just uh, the, the light would pop up when it's when an enemy appears, which being white, as it says up here. Um, enemy appears when it's white. Uh, we dim we simply have different zones that we must do different calculations on. Instead of, for example, in the original dungeon manual, we simply had uh, between stages of two and five, six to ten, and eleven to fifteen. That's the difference between this module. Different types of zone calculations, which in my opinion actually makes the calculations a little bit easier in my opinion. Um, so there will be a, at least 15 stages, but there can be a bit more. I've had 16, 17 stages present on this module. That's another big difference about this module. So let's note down um, each of the stages. So let's go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then potentially 6 and 7. And this is the way that I'm going to be noting down each of the stage counters and um, now what we're going to do is we're going to note down some important information that we need to keep track of based off of some specific values. So I'm going to note down the level because the level is important because we're going to be taking a look at some of these guys here. The level determines which enemy you're going to be fighting based off of whenever the LED lights up and whatever level you're at. So in this case, I'm going to note down L and we always start at level one, no matter what. The, the very first level will always be level one. And as it says here, the dungeon level varies during the, mo during the module between easy medium, hard, very hard, and deadly. So now this is between, this has five different levels instead of dungeon having three different levels. In this case, easy, medium, and hard. So there's another difference. So uh, the starting level is always easy, which is number one. And then uh, moving on forward, uh, when you enter stage six, uh, the level becomes three. And when you enter stage 11, the level becomes four. So that's the way that this module works. So let's take a look here. So uh, we're currently at stage one and uh, other information that we need to pay attention to is we're going to be the last monster fought, which in this case we'll note down with M. And then now the new things in this case, we need to pay attention to the number of sword hits and the number of hits blocked, which in this case we'll note down as S and B respectively. So this is another key difference of dungeon from dungeon second floor. Dungeon simply has you noting down the role, which is X, stage number, which is Y, uh, Z, which is the previous role, and M is the last monster fought with L being pre present there as well. It doesn't briefly mention that. Um, but in this case, the difference between this now is that when we're facing enemies, we need to pay attention to the number of swords hit um, and the number of hits we block using the shield in this case. So let's take a look at how this module works. So for stage one, regardless of whatever happens, we're gonna take a look at the first numeral in the serial number. And in this case, that will count as our dice roll, which will determine our movement. Now, the movements of which you um, do based off of the dice roll is similar to dungeon. In this case, uh, dungeon being um, uh, you'll move left if the if the roll is less than three, which in this case corresponds to zero, one, and two. Um, you'll move forward between three and six, included in this case three, four, five, six. You'll go forward, and you'll go to the right if the roll is above six, which in this case corresponds to seven, eight, or nine. Now, if the dice roll goes if the dice roll is greater than nine, simply modulo ten until it's between zero and nine. And if it becomes negative, you'll simply do absolute value it or make it positive, essentially. So let's begin. So for stage one, and I'm going to note down the dice roll for each stage below each of the stage numbers, just to help me keep track. So in this case, our first number in the serial number is a seven. So for seven here, 
And what we're going to do with that movement is we're simply going to take a look here. Seven corresponds to going to the right, so we're going to press right. And thus the module begins. An LED will light up on the second stage, and potentially an enemy can pop up as well, but it normally happens to be just a color. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the, um, to the um, zone corresponding to that color, and we're going to take a look at the rule here. So blue zone is Zulu plus Mike. Now what exactly does this mean? Uh, Zulu is the previous dice roll, which in this case was 7, and then Mike is the last monster fought. We haven't fought any, so this is just simply going to count as 0. So in this case, uh, in this case, we're going to be, uh, our roll will be 7. And now we also have to pay attention to an otherwise case for each of these rules, except for the magenta zone, which happens not too often. That has to happen on a later stage um, because of the fact that it requires dice rolls from stage uh, Y minus 5, then Y minus Z, or Y minus 10. So this will be happening uh, very later into the module. The magenta zone will not happen often. Um, so in this case, uh, the rule that corresponds to this guy is if X is greater than 6, increase the level by, by 1 after this stage. So, in this case, it is 7, which in, in this case is greater than 6, so we're going to be increasing the level by 1 after the stage. Now, it's very important to note that when exactly does the stage increase? It is very tricky, and it doesn't actually mention it anywhere, but once you press the button, the stage will immediately increase afterwards. Not when the number changes in this case, but when you press the button that you're going to press with the respective arrow. So, if an enemy were to pop in between uh, 2 and 3, we would simply be doing this based off of uh, level 2 instead of level 1 because of this rule. So in this case, let's go right. And in this case, just as I mentioned before, we're now going to be looking at our enemy, uh, our first enemy in the list of level 2, which in this case uh, is what we did here. So in this case, our enemy did, does has popped up, uh, and now we're at level 2. So in this case, we're going to fight the first enemy in that order, um, and what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at, this, uh, at the enemy that we need to fight. Now, it is important to note that now some of these monsters have potentially different rules and different effects. So let's take a look here. So we're fighting, in this case, our first enemy is going to be a slime. Slime, in this case, corresponds to um, uh, sword shield. However, let's take a look and see if this has any special rules. Uh, in this case, it does. It's a horde. Execute the indicated sequence X times being uh, X being the dungeon's current zone. So in this case, our current zone was a blue zone. So now what we're going to do is we're going to execute it, execute this command, uh, sword shield, um, a series of times that corresponds to blue, which in this case is four. So we're going to go back and forth, um, sword shield, sword shield, sword shield, sword shield, uh, four times in this case uh, to get rid of all of the slimes. So in this case, let's do that. So we're going to go uh, sword shield, sword shield, sword uh, shield, sword shield, and just like that, the enemy is gone. And now we're going to note down each of those hits that correspond to it, which in this case we had four swords and then four shields. And then we're also going to note down the enemy that we last fought, which in this case was four. Now, the way that enemies work in this case is once you fight an enemy on that specific level, the first in the list, of course, um, you will never fight that enemy again. So in this case, if we happen to go to level three and then we happen to go back down to level two, we will fight the elemental next. So it's very important that you keep track of what you fought or just simply remember uh, what you have fought already. So in this case, I'm going to simply note down that we fought the slime just for safe measure. I won't do that in the next, in the next module example, but it's just a better way of keeping track of what we fought. So next up, our next zone in this case is going to be the green zone. Green zone in this case corresponds to S plus B. S plus B in this case is the sword hits and the number of and the number of hits blocked. So in this case, we had both four hits and four blocks, which in this case corresponds to eight, and eight will be our result. Now let's take a look at the otherwise rule. If X is less than three, which it's not, we would simply decrease the level by one after the stage. So in this case, we're not going to do that. So eight wants us to go right, so let's go right. Next up, we're taking a look at the yellow zone. Yellow in this case is Yankee minus Zulu. So Yankee in this case is a stage is the stage number we're currently on, minus Zulu, which is the previous dice roll. So in this case, it's four minus eight. Four minus eight gives us a negative four. And if we get a negative, we simply change it to positive. So in this case, it's gonna be four. Now, uh, four in this case indicates us to go forward. However, let's take a look at the otherwise rule for this case. And in this case, it actually requires us to decrease the level by one after the stage. So we're going to be simply moving down to level one after the stage. So let's press the button. Um, and in some cases, it, it just simply requires you to increase it every time. And if you happen to get to level one and it asks you to decrease it by one, you simply keep it at one. So let's go forward. And now we're at the blue zone. Blue zone is Zulu plus Mike, so the previous dice roll, 
uh, plus the last monster fought, in this case would be 4, um, plus 4, in this case, is going to give us an 8. And if x is greater than 6, we're going to increase it by level uh, by uh, increase the level by one after the stage, which we are indeed going to increase it by one. Actually, I meant to do it at still at two. So in this case, we're going to go to level three. In this case, we're going to go right. And now, since we're at level six, the level will become three regardless of whatever position you're at. So in this case, uh, we actually uh, the way that sta these stages work is the second you enter the digit, uh, when the digit so is level six, that's when you will be at level three, not the button press in between it. So in this case. Just to make sure, this is where things become extra specific. Um, stage 6 will immediately become level 3, only when the number is 6. Same thing with 11, but when it comes to the button presses and these green zones here, the second you press that button, and if there's an enemy in between, the level will have already increased by then. So in this case, our next zone is going to be the green zone. For stage 6, we're going to do the um, S plus B, which is 4 plus 4. Um, because we do the sword blocks, sword hits, and the hits block, which is an 8. And if x is less than 3, which is not, decrease the level by 1 after the stage. We're not going to do that. So in this case, we're going to hit right, because 8 wants us to do right. Next up, we're going to be fighting an enemy. So now we're at level 3. We fought a slime before, but that was at level 2. So now we're going to be fighting the first in this list, which is a uh, Worven. If I pronounce this stuff wrong, I don't really care. So in case, we're going to be fighting a Worven. Wyvern, however you pronounce it, I don't really care. Um, so in this case, the, the Wyvern has a, a number of seven, which in this case corresponds to each monster that we fought. So we're going to note that down. And now, before we get started, I'm going to note down each of this number of shields and the number of swords blocked, making sure that there is no monster codex for Wyvern. In this case, there's no, um, no monster codex for Wyvern, so in this case, we're just simply going to do these actions. So in this case, we have three shields that we're going to press. So the, the number of hits that we block is going to be added to 3. So 4 plus 3 is 7. And we're going to have uh, 2 swords, which is the number of uh, swords that we hit. And in this case, that'll be 2. So 4 plus 2 is 6. So it's simply adding on top of everything else. So in this case, if we happen to get over 10 sword hits, we're just simply going to mod 10 in that value. But in this case, we'll have to take a look at this command. So we're going to do um, shield, shield, uh, sword, shield, up arrow. Uh, or in this case, forward, and then uh, sword. And just like that, the enemy's gone. Next up, we're taking a look at the blue zone. Uh, so the blue zone is going to be uh, Zulu plus Mike. In this case, 8 plus 7, being our last roll, and the uh, monster that we previously fought, which will be 15. Modulo that by 10 will give us 5. And uh, if X is greater than 6, nope, not in this case. So let's go forward. And in this case, we're fighting another enemy. So we fought the Worven from, last, from the last stage, and now we're going to be fighting the Minotaur. Minotaur for this stage. The Minotaur, in this case, is right here. And does the Minotaur have any special rules? No, it does not. So in this case, we're going to be doing uh, two sword hits, and that's it. So in this case, we're going to add two to S. So uh, six plus two is eight, in this case. And the monster that we previously fought, its number is currently eight. So we're going to note down for M, now that it's eight. So let's go up, left, right, sword, then left, right, and sword. Next up, we have blue. So blue zone again. Um, so Zulu plus Mike, in this case, 5 plus 8 is 13, so 3. Uh, X is not greater than 6, so we don't care about that rule. So in this case, we're going to go forward again. Next up is yellow. Yellow is Yankee minus Zulu, so the, um, so the stage that we're on, minus the previous roll. So 9 minus 3, is, in this case, is going to be 6. Now we're going to decrease the level by 1 after this stage. So we're going to press the corresponding button to 6, but we will already be in stage 2 by the time we press that button. In this case, we're going to go forward because it's 6. And we're fighting an enemy in level 2 now. In this case, level 2, we've already fought the slime. We're going to fight the elemental this time. So elemental right here. Checking for any additional rules. There is no elementor, so that's perfect. And the, the previous number that we're going to note down for M is going to be 5. And the actions... We have two swords present, so we're going to add um, S is going to be uh, 8 plus 2 in this case is 10, but since it's 10, it's going to just simply be mod 10, so it's going to be 0 in this case for now. And we have one shield press, we're going to simply add uh, 1 to the blocks, so in this case, 7 plus 1 is 8. Alright, so we're going to go um, sword, shield, up, sword. And just like that, on to stage 10. Next up, yellow zone, uh, Yankee minus Zulu, 10 minus 6 is going to be 4. Uh, and we're going to decrease the level by 1 after the stage. 
In this case, we're going to be going back down to level 1. Note that we're not going to level 4 once we get in between it because we haven't reached stage 11 yet. It specifically requests that you have um, stage 11 present in this little number right here. So, uh, we're currently going to be, if we get an enemy in between this, this will be counted for level 1. Uh, in this case, I'm also going to note down that we fought the elemental. Next up, uh, so in this case, we're going to note down 4. 4, in this case, wants us to go forward. Alright, so now, currently, since we're on stage 11, the level becomes level 4. So this is going to be our new level now. And in this case, Yankee minus Zulu for the yellow zone. Uh, 11, in this case, 11 minus 4 is going to be 7. I'm just simply noting down the um, just the last digit of each of them, but it's 10, then 11, then 12. So in this case, 11 minus 4, uh, 11 being the stage number and uh, 4 being the previous dice roll, in this case corresponds to 7, and we're going to decrease the level by 1 after this stage. Now from 4, we're going to go to 3. And in this case, 7 wants us to go to the right. Now we're in the blue zone. Blue zone wants us to do um, the previous roll plus the last monster that we fought, which in this case, 7 plus 5 is 12, and then 12 mod 10 is going to be 2. 2 will be the roll for that stage. Uh, and X is not greater than 6, so we're going to ignore that rule. In this case, 2 wants us to go to the left. And now we're fighting an enemy at level 3. So level 3, next one that we're going to be fighting is the Living Wall. We've already fought the Wervin, uh, the Wyvern, and the Minotaur. We're going to fight the Living Wall. In this case, uh, does the Living Wall have any special thing? Anything special with it? Nope. So in this case, we're going to take a look at the Living, the living Wall right here. Living, uh, so Wall, that's what I'm going to note it down as. And in this case, the Living Wall corresponds to 18 as our number. So in this case, 18. Uh, in this case, we actually can just modulo that by um, 10 as well, because uh, the only cases where it happens to be, um, or M happens to apply, is addition in this case. So it's just, it simply can just be noted down as 8. So next up, let's pay attention to our swords uh, our, our swords and our shields. Uh, we have two swords in this case, so we're going to add a uh, 2 to S. And then we have three shields. Uh, in this case, we're going to add 3 to Bravo. Um, and in this case, 8 plus 3 is 11. And we're going to modulo 10 that, so in this case, be 1. And let's do this command. So in this case, we have uh, left shield, right shield, up shield, sword, sword, up. All right. Now on to stage 13. Uh, stage 13 is yellow. Yankee minus Zulu, which is 13 minus 2. In this case, is 11. Mod 10 is 1. And in this case, we're going to decrease the level by 1 after the stage to 2. We're going to go left because it's 1. And back to yellow again. Yankee minus, uh, Yankee minus Zulu, which is 14 minus 1, which is 13. And then in this case, 13, uh, 3 is our answer for this rule. Uh, and in this case, we're going to decrease the level by 1 after the stage back to level 1. So now, let's take a look here. So uh, 1, or excuse me, 3, in this case, is forward. And in this case, we're fighting an enemy. So now what we're going to do is we're at level 1 right now. We haven't fought the battery, so in this case, that's what we're going to be fighting. The battery, in this case, is going to just simply be a sword. Let's make sure there's no rules, and there's no rules that correspond to battery. So in this case, battery is just a simple sword. So we're going to add um, 1 to S, which is 3, and we're just going to whack it with the sword. And the number, the M in this case, is going to be a 1. Whack it with the sword, and just like that, the enemy's gone. Now we're going to take a look at the red zone. Yankee plus Zulu, which in this case is 15 plus 3, giving us 18. Mod 10 is 8. And now what we're going to do is we're going to increase the level by 1 after this stage. In this case, giving us 2. Now it is important to note that this potentially could solve the module right here, since the number of stages after 15, it's guaranteed to have 15 by the way, at least 15, um, is indeed random. We could also potentially have an enemy to solve, uh, and then we'll have to kill that to solve the module. But in this case, let's simply go uh, 8, which in this case corresponds to the right, and potentially solve the module. In this case, we do have an enemy, so we're in this case we're at level 2 now. And the next enemy that we're going to be fighting, we fought, we fought the slime, and we fought the elemental. So in this case, we're going to be fighting the shapeshifter. Now let's take a look here. The shapeshifter uh, is a question mark. Now this must mean that it automatically has some sort of rule. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the form of another monster. Fight the monster that has its number equal to the current stage. Its effect, if any, applies normally. If the shapeshifter takes on its own form, the correct sequence is just simply one sword. So what exactly does this mean? So uh, in this case, the current stage is 15. And let's find the number that's currently equal to 15 
in this column right here. So in this case, 15, we're facing up against the living chessboard. And does the living chessboard have any rules corresponding to it? Because it wants us to take the um, uh, it wants us to take the effect of the shapeshifter um, effect of the rule that potentially could have uh, some other rule to it. So in this case, if it was slime, for example, we would simply just do it as we normally would. But in this case, living chessboard does not have any sort of um, does not have any sort of uh, rules to it. So in this case, we're going to simply submit this long sequence of arrows along with one sword at the end. So in this case, we're going to note down that one sword, um, one sword hit at the end. In this case, three plus one is four. And we're going to note down, since we're defeating the shapeshifter in this case, we're simply going to note down M in this case is six, not 15. So let's fight the living chessboard. In this case, um, left, left, right, uh, up, right, left, up, up, left, um, right, 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 and sword. And now... This is exactly what I mean. We're on stage 16, and the module has not yet solved. So in this case, we're currently at... Uh, we're taking a look at the red zone. And in this case, Yankee plus Zulu, in this case, gives us uh, 16 plus 8. 16 plus 8 is going to be 24. Modulo 10, giving us 4. And we're going to increase the level by 1 after the stage, giving us level 3. So now, uh, we also fought, mentioned, we also should mention that we fought the Shapeshifter. And simply what we're going to do is we're going to press 4, which in this case is forward. And just like that is a solved module. Note that the LED will, sit, will still change for the next stage. However, we've simply solved the module, and now we can just simply move on with our lives. So now let's take a look at one final example. This module itself is pretty easy once you get used to it, but it definitely takes a little bit of learning, especially with the concept of changing the levels. The levels itself is probably the most confusing bit, and it's just important to know that when you press the button for each of these different zones, that is when the stage will change, not when the number changes. So let's do this all over again. And I'm going to go a little bit faster because I do know the hell out of this module, so um, let's do this. So in this case, first numeral of the serial number, in this case, corresponds to a 7 in this case. So in this case, we're going to go right. Uh, so it's going to go right um, because I know all of these guys right here. Uh, uh, 0 to 2 is left. 3 to 6 is forward, 7 to 9 is right. So in this case, let's go right. Now we're entering the blue zone. Uh, Zulu plus Mike, our previous roll was 7. We do not have any monsters. So in this case, so that's going to mark a 0. Um, X is greater than 6, so we're going to increase the level by 1, so 2. So in this case, 7 was our next stage. So we're going to press right. And now we're facing an enemy at level 2. We're facing slime. And then we're in the blue zone in this case. So blue zone for slime. In this case, wants us to press it four times, similar to what we did last time. So, uh, in this case, uh, the last the, mon the last monster that we're going to fight is four. In this case, being slime, and we're going to do it four times. Uh, so, in this case, we're going to do four four shields and four blocks. Four. So, um, sword, shield, sword, shield, sword, shield, sword, shield. All right. Next up, uh, stage uh, three is green. Uh, S plus B. This is feeling a lot similar to the last one, ironically enough. Uh, S plus B in this case is going to be um, 4 plus 4. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. In this case, giving us 8. And X is not less than 3, so we're not going to decrease the level. In this case, we're going to go right. Yellow. Uh, Yankee minus Zulu. I. This is exactly feeling like the same thing. 4 minus 8. Um, giving us, uh, in this case, um, giving us uh, negative 4. So in this case, being positive 4. And we're going to decrease the level by 1 after the stage. We're going to go to 1. So let's go forward to blue. Blue in this case is Zulu plus Mike. 4 plus 4 in this case giving us 8. Uh, if X is greater than 6, we're going to increase the level by 1 after the stage. So to, so to stage 2. So let's press right. And now since we're at stage 6, the level automatically becomes 3. So in this case, we're at the green zone. S plus B is going to be 8. Uh, and if X is less than 3, it's not. So in this case, let's press right. And now we're at level 3, so we're going to be fighting the uh, Wervin again. So the Wervin in this case is, we had no special rules for it. So in this case, uh, we're going to be pressing 3 shields. So in this case, uh, so that's going to be 7. And then 2 swords, making that S6. So shield, shield, sword, shield, up, left. Uh, okay, now to the blue zone. Is uh, Zulu plus Mike. Zulu plus Mike, in this case, corresponds to 8 plus 4, giving us 12. Or in this case, no, we defeated the Wervin, rather. Forgot to note that down. In this case, it's a 7, 
So in this, in this case, our last monster that we previously fought was a seven, uh, the Wyvern. The, the Wyvern, I don't care. Um, and in this case, uh, Zulu plus Mike, eight plus seven is 15. This is feeling like the exact same. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pop up a new example because this is feeling like the exact same sequence again. Um, that's very interesting that it happens to be that way. So let's do one more example. They'd rather be able to cover uh, other examples um, potentially on their own. So I'll take a look here. Let's do only just one example this time around. But the module itself, pretty straightforward. Um, just a couple, couple tricky things to do. And it is a little bit on the longer side, and I consider it quite the longer interactive. So it's got a, it's something that you got to be very careful with, especially on challenge bombs. Is just balancing that work. So our first, uh, our first numeral in the serial number in this case is going to be a uh, six in this case. So in this case, that's already feeling a little bit different. So in this case, the six, we're going to go forward with that, and we're still at level one. We're going to start at yellow. Inky minus Zulu, which in this case is two minus six giving us a negative four, which corresponds to four in this case, because it's absolute value. And we're gonna decrease the level by one after the stage. But since we're already at level one, we're not gonna do anything about that. We're gonna simply leave it at one and move on with our lives. Let's go forward. We're at the blue zone now. So in this case, Zulu plus Mike, uh, Zulu being the previous dice roll and Mike being the uh, monster we previously just fought. fought, fought. Uh, we haven't fought any monsters yet, so that's zero. And uh, Zulu, in this case, was 4, so in this case, our next HC would be 4. And X is not greater than 6, so we're going to ignore that rule. So in this case, we're going to go forward. Now, we're at level 1 right now, so we're going to fight the Battery, in this case. Battery is just simply a um, slap with the uh, sword, and we're done with that We're done with that boss. So in this case, the Battery was the monster 1, and we hit 1 sword, so in this case, we're going to uh, have SB1 in this case for right now. Next up, uh, we're taking a look at the red zone. The red zone in this case is Yankee plus Zulu. So in this case, uh, four plus four. Since we're currently on stage four and our previous roll was four, that'll give us an eight. And we're gonna increase level by one after the stage. In this case, giving us two. Let's press right. And now we're fighting an enemy at level two. So in this case, we're fighting the slime. And remember with the slime, the slime has the special rule of it's a four. X gives the indicated sequence X amount of times. In this case, our zone that we were currently just in was red. So in this case, we're simply going to do red one time. So in this case, we're only, we're only going to do sword shield one time. So our monster uh, number is four, and we're only going to add one to each uh, S and B respectively. So two and then one. So sword shield, enemy goes away, and we're on to the next stage. Next up, red, the red zone. Uh, Yankee plus Zulu, so 5 plus 8 in this case is going to be 13. 13 in this case, mod 10 is going to be 3. And we're going to press forward for this stage. Uh, and we're going to increase the level by 1 after the stage to level 3. And now since we're at level 6, uh, the level becomes level 3, which we already are there, so that's perfect. Next up, uh, we're going to do Yankee plus Zulu again. 6 plus, uh, 6 plus 3 is 9. And we're going to increase level by 1 to level 4. And let's go uh, right. Next up, Yankee plus Zulu, 9 plus 7 is going to be 16, mod 10 is 6. We're going to increase level by 1 after the stage, giving us a level 5. Oh boy, the, oh boy, the, fun, the fun one. And then we're going to um, go forward in this case. And we're fighting an enemy at level 5. Level 5, our first enemy is going to be the Necromancer. So let's take a look at the Necromancer down here. The Necromancer we don't know what to do with, actually. So in this case, the Necromancer, we're going to do as the same. We're going to do the same sequence as the as the monster fought previously. Its effects, if any, apply normally. So in this case, the last enemy that we fought was the slime, and we only did it one time. In this case, being the red zone. So now what we're going to do is we're simply just going to do the move that we did before, and we're going to note down the number that corresponds to the Necromancer, not the slime. So in this case, the number that we're going to note down for the Mike is going to be thirteen, or simply mod ten being three. And what we're going to do is we're going to do just simply a uh, sword and a shield one more time. So in this case, uh, the S will become three and the and the B will become two. So uh, sword, shield, and just like that, the stage is done. So now we're still at level five. Uh, next up, we're going to do uh, yellow in this case. Yankee minus Zulu in this case is going to be um, eight minus six, giving us positive two. And we're going to decrease level by one after the stage. Back down to four. So we're going to go left. Now we're fighting an enemy at level four, and now we're fighting Shadow of the Rabbit. 
which in this case, let's take a look here. So Shadow of the Rabbit, and in this case, Shadow of the Rabbit, if there is a Bob indicator anywhere, uh, we're going to replace the shield with swords. Let's take a look here. Do we have a Bob present on the bomb? In this case, we don't. So in this case, all of these shields present, if there was a Bob present, we would replace all of those shields with swords. However, in this case, we're not going to do that. But in this case, let's count the number of shields that we have so we can add it to Bravo and get this monster done. And we're also going to note down that we have 10 for this previous monster fought, so in this case being 10, or simply 0. In this case, we're going to fight, uh, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh, in this case, we have 7 shields. 7 plus 2 is going to be 9. So let's do this. So, um, shield, 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 uh, left, shield, right, shield, shield, up, up, shield. And just like that, on stage 9. So next up, the green zone. Uh, S plus B, in this case, is going to be 3 plus 9, um, which is going to be 12. 12, in this case, is going to be, uh, mod 10 is going to be 2. And if X is less than 3, we're going to decrease the level by 1 after the stage. So we're going to be doing it, uh, so we're going to be, that is true in this case, and we're going to simply uh, go from level 4 to level 3. Let's hit left. And in this case, uh, next up is the red zone. Yankee plus Zulu, which is in this case is 10 plus 2. Uh, in this case, is going to be 12. Mod 10 is going to be 2. And we're going to increase the level by 1 after the stage to level 4, which also happens to be the level that we're going to go to next, in this case for stage 11. Let's press left for uh, for the 2. And we're at stage 11. So now, Yankee plus Zulu again. So in this case, 11 plus 2, giving us 13. 13 in this case, mod 10 is 3. And we're going to go forward, in this case, increasing level to level 5. So we're going forward. And now we're fighting an enemy at level 5. The next one that we're going to be fighting is Door. So what exactly do we do for Door? Any special rules for Door? Let's take a look here. If there are no batteries on the bomb, replace the swords by shields in this case. Uh, we do have batteries on the bomb, so we're not going to be doing anything about that. But it's important that we make sure that we're paying attention to the monster names. Um, most of them happen to be in level 5 and level 4. The only exception in this case being slime. Uh, so just pay attention to those rules. But we're not going to replace it. We're not going to be replacing those swords with shields. So we're going to just simply be doing it as normal. And the number that corresponds to this monster in this case is 14. Or mod 10 being 4. So next up, we have these. Uh, we have a, ser a series of, uh, sh of swords. So let's count the number of swords. One, two, three, four, five, six. So in this case, six plus three is also nine for S. So um, sword, sword, left, sword, right, sword, sword, up, up, sword. All right, and now we're on the red zone. In this case, Yankee plus Zulu. Twelve plus three is going to be fifteen. Mod ten is going to be five. And we're going to increase the level by 1, which, which we're already at level 5, so we're not going to do anything about that. So now, let's press, uh, in this case, forward. Now we're at the blue zone. The blue zone is uh, the previous roll, which was 5, plus Mike, which is 4, uh, or 14 in this case. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to add these two guys together. Um, 5 plus 4 in this case is 9. And if X is, is greater than 6, we're going to increase the level by 1 after the stage. But we're not going to do anything since we're at level 5. So in this case, 9, we're going to move to the right, on to the red zone, in this case. It really wants me to stay at level 5, interestingly enough. So in this case, Yankee plus Zulu, uh, 14 plus 9 in this case. 14 plus 9 is going to be 23. Mod 10 is going to be a 3. And 3 wants us to move forward, and we would normally increase the level by 1, but we're not going to be doing that. So in this case, move forward. And now we're going to be fighting our next enemy, the Living Chessboard. Are there any rules for the Living Chessboard? Nope. So now what we're going to be doing is fighting this guy with a whole bunch of arrows and one sword at the end. So in this case, 9 plus 1 is going to be 10 for the swords, and we're going to just simply modular 10, which is 0. So now let's do the living chessboard. So left, left, right, um, up, right, left, up, up, left, right, 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 and sword. And just like that, on to the next stage. So la lastly, uh, red, and potentially this could solve the module right here. Um, so we have Yankee plus Zulu, in this case being 15 and 3, which is 18. Mod 10 is going to be 8. And we're going to move right. Uh, normally we would increase the level by 1, but we're not going to be doing that. And let's also make sure that I got the living chessboard right, which in this case was 15. Uh, our previous monster was 15, or 5 in this case. So, let's take a look. So we can move to the right. And just like that, it is solved module. As always, thank you guys for watching. Remember to stay crazy, stay cool, and I'll see you guys in the next one.
Bye-bye. <laughs>